Joined by Kieran here outside Richmond Park after uh, probably frustrating in all draw. What's the Dundalk point of view? Dundalk point of view is one of frustration. Really, you would have thought from the momentum that we got from Friday night's victory over Cork City, particularly the fact that it was the first time in seven matches that we hadn't beaten them, that we'd be going into a game over the past number of seasons, particularly with Stephen Kenny. We've games against St Patrick Glad we've been very much in favour of you know the results. So we came into the game full of confidence, and unfortunately, to to our credit, to St. Patrick's Athletics' credit, really, they were absolutely outstanding in, in, de- in defensive periods during the course of the game. I thought in the final third, while we did have chances, we were just we just lacked that killer edge. You know, there was two chances cleared off the line. We hit the crossbar. It's it is frustrating, but um, at the end of the day, the bright side is is that we actually haven't conceded this season. I suppose I would say uh, from a, I suppose we, particularly from the management point of view and, a, a, and particularly a defensive management point of view, it's it's another game with a with a clean sheet. Um, you know, if you're tight in the back, I suppose. You know the, the way the game was so for large periods. I'm sure for the neutral watchers, with sluggish, um, probably crying out for a bit of quality on the. Uh, final third of the pitch but you know you can only keep them out and hopefully the, the results will come on um, as you said the, those two big chances before half time yeah. they're cleared off the line particularly the second one Ronan um, Murray's, yeah, Ronan Murray's opportunity when, I'm when sure it was, I'm sh- I'm sh- sure you, yeah. you just thought it was destined from the top corner but it shows uh, the Kevin Toner you know a, a player who's come back from Aston Villa that's that little bit of extra quality that he's brought into the league this year and then you have the same with Clary, Dan, Daniel Cleary who's, the back who's just come been in from Birmingham he's been absolutely terrific like yeah. I mean he was trusted into the back four against Shamrock Rovers and hasn't looked out of place and now he's had you know different defensive partnerships but it seems in the last two games I know it's very early doors and whatever but himself and Sean Horse seem to be forming a very very good defensive partnership and that's going to be very very tough it, to, to, it, break, to break absolutely. out Absolutely I thought he was immense on Friday night he was particularly good here again tonight as well and I thought Chris, Chris Shields in the number 6 role as well was was, was fantastic as well and as you said from, from a defensive point of view everything was rosy it's just I can, yeah. sen- I can sense the frustration in you <laughs> as I can all around the camp but yeah. look Nil nil isn't isn't the worst result. No. Um, Listen, at the end of the day, that the point gap is only three points. It could have been as big as seven on on Friday night. That would have been you know an absolute disaster if that was the case. It would have been nine points tonight. Look, it's three. That's that's attainable. It's manageable. And Absolutely. The fact is, is that we're going into a game against Waterford, who are flying high, and we can leapfrog them going into the into the next series of games. So it really realistically, um, while it's a frustrating result, you know, you learn from every game and what we've seen tonight is that there's players, you know, Patrick Hoopin's getting very, very strong leading that line. Mm-hmm. Um I think Ronan Murray was I think he, he kinda was a bit quieter than usual tonight, but then again, he he lashes at that free kick. If it was an inch, yeah, inch was, below, was, and that was, was it. It was, was in. Some, it was some hit. I, th- I actually thought it was in at the, at the time for the viewers that won't have seen it. He just smashed this free kick, it just dipped and right it just swerved right yeah. in and, and, and crashed off the bar. Very, very unlucky. Probably a an, an apt summary of the night. Really, that cr- <laughs> pretty much <laughs> so close, but so, yeah, so far, it was, it, it was one of those games where you were looking for that one single solitary moment just to break through and unfortunately while Dundalk did have the chances they just you know def- between you know d- what what we call a very stern defensive effort from St. Patrick's Athletic you know it came out with a nil all draw you could see the reaction from the crowd at the end of the game that they were delighted with it but listen we'll go again on, wet- on Friday night and we don't know what the situation is for Monday as of yet the because Derry, Derry City at the yeah. moment they're looking for the game to be called off due to international call-ups that remains to be seen, but I think Dundalk will want to keep these games going to get their momentum going because they, while this one has gotten away, they want to get results and points on the board, particularly at home. Absolutely. Well, thank you for your time very much. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Okay.